Hello everyone and welcome to another video about the Augur. In this one I want to show you how you can create hex maps such as this one inside the program. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new location. We can do that from here and in the panel that opens we select hex map and right here we can see a preview of, of the map that we're about to create. Here you can change the size and here you can create a type of map. Right now we're on overland. Now let's say we want to create an archipelago. You can reroll a few times until you get a distribution of land that you that you want. And using this dial right here, you can select select the biome that you want to use in this map. And for this one, let's say that we're going to use the tundra biome. You can also change the amount of vegetation in the map and you can change the amount of mountains that you see on the map and finally you can change the water level this is especially apparent in the overland map as you can see we can create lakes or shores and so on alright so uh, we're going to use this map we accept and in this panel we select the amount of settlements or dungeons that we want the ogre to procedurally generate on our map. So let's use 2 and 4 and this uh, button right here allows you to pick the, the theme of the settlements that will appear. So let's say we want to see fantasy and you can press here if you want to reroll where these settlements appear. Let's give this a name. and we press here to accept. So this is our location, we get a small overview of, of what's in there and we press here to open the map. Now this is how it looks and let's say that uh, we want to move some things around, let's say that I want this ruin to be over here and this settlement to be over here for example. And now let's, let's connect these two islands. To do that we right click on the map and we press the option hex map tools. By the way, if you're using a touch device, you tap, hold for a, for a split second, and once you release, you will see this menu as well. So, go into hex map tools, and here we see all the tiles that come with the ogre. You can press on any of these and add them to the map. And if you want to filter by biome, you can do that from here, and we are in the tundra biome, correct? Okay, so let's say we press this one, and now you can place these tiles on the map and we have this option right here which is the brush uh, button if you press this you see that it will create tiles at the radius of 2 where you press using this option right here now let's add some forests and we can add a few mountains here perhaps some, a peak here and let's say we want to connect we want to connect this settlement right here to this uh, ruin. Let's place it here. So let's say that the way here is is clear. And do notice that every time you press, it picks a different a variation for this tile. You can see all the variations if you press this toggle right here. So each tile has four variations. This makes the map looks better since you're not always seeing the same tile. Now. If you want to place a road between these two settlements, we can use this button right here, Roads, and then you just press on the tiles that you want the road to appear, and they will connect. Another thing you can do is you can add rivers, so let's say we have a river that starts in this mountain and goes all the way down here to the sea. So now we have uh, the map that we want to use to play, and uh, one thing you can do is you can export this map if you want to use it on a different program just right click anywhere and press on export map this will bring the export dialog if you want to toggle some things off for example you don't want to see the locations you can toggle that off you can leave it on and then once you have well, the, the map as you want it to export you press here and it takes a couple seconds and once it's done you will get a PNG image, then you can use uh, whatever you want. 
all right so uh, let's say we want to add some new some more settlements uh, if you press on any of the settlements that are already on the map you will notice that the augur uh, generates these locations with a lot of details you have an image you have some details like projects and, and problems in the settlement and you also have uh, NPCs that live in these places. We also have, it also creates dungeons. These dungeons have, uh, again, they have details and, and possible quests that you can do here. They come with songs that represent rooms in the dungeon. You can even open the map for, for these dungeons and you can drop these songs so they act as as the uh, different rooms in, in your dungeon and you can drag the foes and you can even drag your player character so you can explore this dungeon and once you're done you go back to the hex map that you were playing and you can continue your adventure now let's say that you want to add something new to this map let's say that you want to add a settlement right here what you would do is you right click you press on new location and you go to settlements and here we have uh, both sci-fi and fantasy settlements you can use this button to filter now we are only seeing uh, fantasy settlements and let's say we want the coastal village so once we have this selected uh, you see that it creates all these details and you can roll a few times until you get the one that you want for your game we accept and it will appear right here you can move this if you toggle off the grid snapping you can move this and put put them wherever you want you can also resize them if you double tap on them you can resize them and if we go into into this settlement and we press on one of the characters you see that it has all these details and you can also change the equipment they are carrying let's say let's go back to fantasy let's say that we want to give this person a, a code and you can change the weapon and you can also change the background for the image so let's say we use this one and of course you can drag this NPC and put um, and put it wherever you want if it works for your story and there's a, mo a lot more you can do with the ogre so let's say you want to create a, a sci-fi map again we go to new locations but instead of hex map, hex map we select the star map and this is going to be the background for our map we create the map and let's say let's call it simply galaxy all right we open this map and you see that we have this this background right here and if you want to turn it into a hex map we go into settings and for the grid we press hexes and now if we drop something here it will act as a hex map and we can also add planets again new location planets and remember to remove the filter and here we have all the the kind of planets that you can generate let's say we got, let's add a few let's say we add this one again you can roll and we will create a new map and new details for this planet i'm going to add i'm going to add three planets here let's say we want a nice planet uh, accept and let's say we want to add uh, a volcanic planet all right so again you can move this around and you can connect them let's say we are going to add some routes you can change the color so they mean different things within your game and let's leave this here and let's drag this map right here you can even add starship if you want you go to ships and if you only want to see sci-fi ships toggle the filter and let's say we add this one again you see all the details it comes with a captain and let's add uh, I believe there's also yes a space station and you can roll a few times to get a different one we press accept and we have our space station with NPCs and these NPCs are sci-fi flavor so they have sci-fi weapons sci-fi equipment and all that and you can even open you select the planet and you go into the planet map and then you are 
in the planet you can again you can add locations here you can add your character you can add your ship and you can add dungeons let's say we can add we even have sci-fi dungeons so let's say we add this derelict facility we add this and of course it comes with a map and there are sci-fi theme foes as well that you can add to these dungeons and so that was a brief overview of everything you can do in the Ogre and why the Ogre is the ultimate tool for playing solo RPGs and for creating your hex maps. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll leave a link to the Ogre website right here.